The International Maritime Organization (IMO), known as the Intergovernmental Maritime Consultative Organization (IMCO) until 1982, is a specialized agency of the United Nations responsible for regulating shipping. The IMO was established following agreement at a UN conference held in Geneva in 1948 and the IMO came into existence ten years later, meeting for the first time in 1959. Headquartered in London, United Kingdom, the IMO currently has 174 member states and three associate members. The IMO's primary purpose is to develop and maintain a comprehensive regulatory framework for shipping, and its remit today includes safety, environmental concerns, legal matters, technical cooperation, maritime security, and the efficiency of shipping. IMO is governed by an assembly of members and is financially administered by a council of members elected from the assembly. The work of IMO is conducted through five committees and these are supported by technical subcommittees. Other UN organizations may observe the proceedings of the IMO. Observer status is granted to qualified non-governmental organizations. IMO is supported by a permanent secretariat of employees who are representative of the organization's members. The Secretariat is composed of a Secretary-General who is periodically elected by the Assembly, and various divisions such as those for Marine Safety, Environmental Protection and a Conference Section. History Solas <laughs> <laughs> Intergovernmental Maritime Consultative Organization IMCO was formed in order to bring the regulation of the safety of shipping into an international framework, for which the creation of the United Nations provided an opportunity. Hitherto such international conventions had been initiated piecemeal, notably the Safety of Life at Sea Convention SOLAS, first adopted in 1914 following the Titanic disaster. IMCO's first task was to update that convention, the resulting 1960 convention was subsequently recast and updated in 1974 and it is that convention that has been subsequently modified and updated to adapt to changes in safety requirements and technology. When IMCO began its operations in 1959 certain other pre-existing conventions were brought under its aegis, most notable the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution of the Sea by Oil 1954. The first meetings of the newly formed IMCO were held in London in 1959. Throughout its existence IMCO, later renamed the IMO in 1982, has continued to produce new and updated conventions across a wide range of maritime issues covering not only safety of life and marine pollution but also encompassing safe navigation, search and rescue, wreck removal, tonnage measurement, liability and compensation, ship recycling, the training and certification of seafarers, and piracy. More recently SOLAS has been amended to bring an increased focus on maritime security through the International Ship and Port Facility Security code. The IMO has also increased its focus on smoke emissions from ships. In January 1959, IMO began to maintain and promote the 1954 OILPOL Convention. Under the guidance of IMO, the convention was amended in 1962, 1969, and 1971. Torrey Canyon As oil trade and industry developed, many people in the industry began to recognize a need for further improvements in regards to oil pollution prevention at sea. This became increasingly apparent in 1967, when the tanker Torrey Canyon spilled 120,000 tons of crude oil when it ran aground entering the English Channel. Torrey Canyon grounding was the largest oil pollution incident recorded up to that time. This incident prompted a series of new conventions. Topic: <inaudible> Maritime Pollution Convention. IMO held an emergency session of its council to deal with the need to readdress regulations pertaining to maritime pollution. In 1969, the IMO assembly decided to host an international gathering in 1973 dedicated to this issue. The goal at hand was to develop an international agreement for controlling general environmental contamination by ships when out at sea. During the next few years IMO brought to the forefront a series of measures designed to prevent large ship accidents and to minimize their effects. 
It also detailed how to deal with the environmental threat caused by routine ship duties such as the cleaning of oil cargo tanks or the disposal of engine room wastes. By tonnage, the aforementioned was a bigger problem than accidental pollution. The most significant thing to come out of this conference was the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, 1973. It covers not only accidental and operational oil pollution but also different types of pollution by chemicals, goods in packaged form, sewage, garbage, and air pollution. The original MARPOL was signed on 17 February 1973, but did not come into force due to lack of ratifications. The current convention is a combination of 1973 convention and the 1978 protocol. It entered into force on 2 October 1983. As of May 2013, 152 states, representing 99.2% of the world's shipping tonnage, are involved in the convention. In 1983, the EMO established the World Maritime University in Malmo, Sweden. Topic headquarters The EMO headquarters are located in a large purpose built building facing the River Thames on the Albert Embankment, in Lambeth, London. The organization moved into its new headquarters in late 1982, with the building being officially opened by Queen Elizabeth II on 17 May 1983. The architects of the building were Douglas Marriott, Werby and Robinson. The front of the building is dominated by a 7-metre-high, 10-ton bronze sculpture of the bow of a ship, with a lone seafarer maintaining a lookout. The previous headquarters of EMO were at 101 Piccadilly, now the home of the Embassy of Japan, prior to that at 22 Berners Street in Fitzrovia and originally in Chancery Lane. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Membership. To become a member of the EMO, a state ratifies a multilateral treaty known as the Convention on the International Maritime Organization. As of 2018, there are 173 member states of the EMO, which includes 172 of the UN member states plus the Cook Islands. The first state to ratify the convention was the United Kingdom in 1949. The most recent members to join were Armenia and Nauru, which became EMO members in January and May 2018, respectively. The three associate members of the EMO are the Faroe Islands, Hong Kong and Macau. Most UN member states that are not members of EMO are landlocked countries. These include Afghanistan, Andorra, Bhutan, Botswana, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Central African Republic, Chad, Kyrgyzstan, Laos, Lesotho, Liechtenstein, Mali, Niger, Rwanda, South Sudan, Swaziland, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. However, the Federated States of Micronesia, an island nation in the Pacific Ocean, is also a non-member. Structure The EMO consists of an assembly, a council and five main committees, the Maritime Safety Committee, the Marine Environment Protection Committee, the Legal Committee, the Technical Cooperation Committee and the Facilitation Committee. A number of sub-committees support the work of the main technical committees. Legal instruments. EMO is the source of approximately 60 legal instruments that guide the regulatory development of its member states to improve safety at sea, facilitate trade among seafaring states and protect the maritime environment. The most well known is the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea as well as International Convention on Oil Pollution Preparedness, Response and Cooperation Others include the International Oil Pollution Compensation Funds it also functions as a depository of yet to be ratified treaties, such as the International Convention on Liability and Compensation for Damage in Connection with the Carriage of Hazardous and Noxious Substances by Sea, 1996 HNS Convention and Nairobi International Convention of Removal of Wrecks, 2007. EMO regularly enacts regulations, which are broadly enforced by national and local maritime authorities in member countries, such as the International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea, COL. The EMO has also enacted a Port State Control PSC authority, allowing domestic maritime authorities such as Coast Guards to inspect foreign flag ships calling at ports of the many port states. Memoranda of Understanding protocols were signed by some countries unifying Port State Control procedures among the signatories.
Conventions, Codes and Regulations Marpole Convention Marpole Annex I Solas Convention IMDG Code ISM Code ISPS Code STCW Convention International Code of Signals International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea HNS Convention International Convention on Civil Liability for Oil Pollution Damage International Convention on the Establishment of an International Fund for Compensation for Oil Pollution Damage International Ballast Water Management Convention Topic: <laughs> Current Issues Recent initiatives at the EMO have included amendments to SOLAS, which upgraded fire protection standards on passenger ships, the International Convention on Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarers STCW, which establishes basic requirements on training, certification and watchkeeping for seafarers and to the Convention on the Prevention of Maritime Pollution Marpole 7378s, which required double hulls on all tankers. In December 2002, new amendments to the 1974 SOLAS Convention were enacted. These amendments gave rise to the International Ship and Port Facility Security Code, which went into effect on 1 July 2004. The concept of the code is to provide layered and redundant defenses against smuggling, terrorism, piracy, stowaways, etc. The ISPS code required most ships and port facilities engaged in international trade to establish and maintain strict security procedures as specified in ship and port specific ship security plans and port facility security plans. The EMO has a role in tackling international climate change. The first intersessional meeting of IMO's working group on greenhouse gas emissions from ships took place in Oslo, Norway, 23 to 27 June 2008, tasked with developing the technical basis for the reduction mechanisms that may form part of a future EMO regime to control greenhouse gas emissions from international shipping, and a draft of the actual reduction mechanisms themselves for further consideration by IMO's Marine Environment Protection Committee (MEPC). The EMO participated in the 2015 United Nations Climate Change Conference in Paris seeking to establish itself as the appropriate international body to address greenhouse gas emissions from ships engaged in international trade. Nonetheless, there has been widespread criticism of the IMO's relative inaction since the conclusion of the Paris Conference, with the initial data gathering step of a three-stage process to reduce maritime greenhouse emissions expected to last until 2020. The EMO has also taken action to mitigate the global effects of ballast water and sediment discharge, through the 2004 Ballast Water Management Convention, which entered into force in September 2017. The EMO is also responsible for publishing the International Code of Signals for use between merchant and naval vessels. EMO has harmonized information available to seafarers and shore side traffic services called e navigation. An e-navigation strategy was ratified in 2005, and an implementation plan was developed through three EMO subcommittees. The plan was completed by 2014 and implemented in November of that year. EMO has also served as a key partner and enabler of U.S. international and interagency efforts to establish maritime domain awareness. On December 4, 2018 it was reported that at least 34 member countries of the International Maritime Organization supported Ukraine with respect to Russia's armed military attack on Ukrainian boats on the Ukrainian and international waters near the Kerch Strait that occurred on November 25, 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Governance of EMO The governing body of the International Maritime Organization is the Assembly which meets every two years. In between Assembly sessions a council, consisting of 40 member states elected by the Assembly, acts as the governing body. The technical work of the International Maritime Organization is carried out by a series of committees. The Secretariat consists of some 300 international civil servants headed by a Secretary General. Secretary-General 
The current Secretary General is Katak Lim South Korea, elected for a four-year term at the 106th session of the IMO Council in June 2015 and at the 27th session of the IMO's Assembly in November 2015. His mandate started on 1 January 2016. Previous Secretaries General 1959 Ove Nielsen Denmark 1961 William Graham United Kingdom, acting, following death of Mr. Nielsen 1963 Jean Rollier France 1968 Colin Goad United Kingdom 1974 Chandrika Prasad Srivastava India 1990 William O'Neill Canada 2003 Ftimios E Metropolis Greece 2011 Koji Sakimizu Japan 2015 Katak Lim South Korea Topic Technical Committees The technical work of the International Maritime Organization is carried out by a series of committees These include the Maritime Safety Committee MSC the Marine Environment Protection Committee MEPC the Legal Committee the Technical Cooperation Committee, for capacity building The Facilitation Committee, to simplify the documentation and formalities required in international shipping. Maritime Safety Committee It is regulated in the Article 28 of the Convention on the EMO Article 28 uh, the Maritime Safety Committee shall consider any matter within the scope of the organization concerned with aids to navigation, construction and equipment of vessels, manning from a safety standpoint, rules for the prevention of collisions, handling of dangerous cargoes, maritime safety procedures and requirements, hydrographic information, log books and navigational records, marine casualty investigation, salvage and rescue, and any other matters directly affecting maritime safety. B. The Maritime Safety Committee shall provide machinery for performing any duties assigned to it by this convention, the Assembly or the Council, or any duty within the scope of this article which may be assigned to it by or under any other international instrument and accepted by the organization. C. Having regard to the provisions of Article 25, the Maritime Safety Committee, upon request by the Assembly or the Council or, if it deems such action useful in the interests of its own work, shall maintain such close relationship with other bodies as may further the purposes of the organization. The Maritime Safety Committee is the most senior of these and is the main technical committee, it oversees the work of its nine sub-committees and initiates new topics. One broad topic it deals with is the effect of the human element on casualties. This work has been put to all of the subcommittees, but meanwhile, the Maritime Safety Committee has developed a code for the management of ships which will ensure that agreed operational procedures are in place and followed by the ship and shoreside staff. Topic: <laughs> Subcommittees. The MSC and MEPC are assisted in their work by a number of subcommittees which are open to all member states. The committees are Subcommittee on Human Element, Training and Watchkeeping HTW Subcommittee on Implementation of EMO Instruments 3 Subcommittee on Navigation, Communications and Search and Rescue NCSR Subcommittee on Pollution Prevention and Response PPR Subcommittee on Ship Design and Construction SDC Subcommittee on Ship Systems and Equipment SSE Subcommittee on Carriage of Cargoes and Containers CCC The names of the EMO subcommittees were changed in 2013 Prior to 2013 there were 9 subcommittees as follows Bulk Liquids and Gases BLG Carriage of Dangerous Goods Solid Cargoes and Containers DSC Fire Protection FP Radio Communications and Search and Rescue COMSAR Safety of Navigation NAV Ship Design and Equipment DE Stability and Load Lines and Fishing Vessel Safety SLF Standards of Training and Watchkeeping STW Flag State Implementation FSI Topic Resolutions 
Resolution MSC.255 of 16 May 2008, adopts the Code of the International Standards and Recommended Practices for a Safety Investigation into a Marine Casualty or Marine Incident. It is also known as the Casualty Investigation Code. See also EMO Ship Identification Number International Maritime Law Institute International Maritime Rescue Federation United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea Standard Marine Communication Phrases Developed by the EMO, to Improve Safety at Sea NAVAREA Topic. Notes and references Topic. Further reading Mankabadi, Samir, 1986. The International Maritime Organization. London, Routledge. ISBN 978-0-7099-3591-9. Nordquist, Myron H. and John Morton Moore, 1999. Current Maritime Issues and the International Maritime Organization. The Hague, Martinus Nijhoff Publishers. ISBN 978-90-411-1293-4 OCLC, 42652709 International Maritime Committee External links International Maritime Organization List of EMO member states on www.emo.org EMO, what it is, 2001 Convention Status Text EMO moved to Piccadilly in 1970